Here's an airplane flying along, and we have it in a wind tunnel with smoke going over it. And as you increase the angle of attack, the lift gets greater. But however, I said there's only lift as long as the air conforms with the surface of the wing. Now, when you get the angle of attack so high, the air can no longer conform with the surface of the wing. And instead of flowing smoothly over the surface of the wing, it backfills and burbles and eddies, lift is destroyed, and the aircraft is said to have stalled. Now, let's take a look at a close-up picture of exactly what we just saw there. We increase the angle of attack of this wing, and as it increases, we change the angle of attack. The relative wind can no longer conform to the surface of the wing, and when it separates from the surface of the wing, and then it continues and burbles and backfills and eddies, you're going to find that lift is destroyed, and the aircraft is said to have stalled. Now, an airplane stalls at a specific angle of attack. The exact angle of attack at which the air can no longer conform to the surface of the wing is really designed into the wind, into the wing. So an airplane stalls at the same angle of attack regardless of the gross weight of the airplane. So at what angle of attack does an airplane stall at? Always for the particular airplane and configuration of the wing, always at the same angle of attack. So that's one of the things you need to know.